I totally got off track and I promised you a haul from my previous video. My previous, previous video. I was super thrilled to find this beautiful blanket. Very well made, good size, definitely needs a bath because it smells like somebody's attic. But I think that'll clean up real nice. I found this letter opener, or not letter opener, a letter caddy. But it has two compartments, hangs on the wall, and these cute little guys on it. Speaking of letters, this is what I mean, letter holders. These are actually like tiki inspired Aloha Hawaii letter holders for your desk. But over here, I loved this lamp. How interesting. Little ballet flats. I don't know, something about that I really liked. And it has like metal ribbon on it. So we'll see how that does. This perfume bottle here, I need to replace the atomizer on it, but it's actually a music box. So that's completely bizarre to me. It has this little uh, bar on the bottom that when you pick it up, it releases, and that is when your music plays. And it does work. So that was cool. Speaking of perfume bottles, I do have this one. I did get a Fenton owl fairy lamp it's pretty small but it is that uh satin glass so that's pretty cool um these picture frames that's a non-glare glass and uh has that real old kind of looking matte inside of it two of those i got these i was hoping they glowed i did not have my uv light on them um at the time but they do not, disappointedly. But I do love green glass, so pretty cool. These little bisque babies. This absolutely amazing vase. I love that. It's such pretty color. And this lighting does not do it justice at all. But it has that kind of rainbowy look to it. Which is not showing up very well. But I have sold a similar vase to this before, so I think that'll go pretty fast. Uh, I mean, the genie bottle. The genie bottle. Amazing. Then I have these uh, two paintings back there. Just small. Little boudoir art. I did get this big piece back here. The frame that that is in is awesome. But a very pretty painting. And this painting, again, the frame is amazing. And somebody painted Tough, the kitty kitty. A green glass bottle here that has a flip top on it. Interesting. And uh, this kind of goes well with the uh, letter caddy. A little shears pattern. Oh, so cute. And there's uh, some old gift wrap underneath there. And these little pigs. Little Bone China pig with her babies. So cute. And then over here in my window, I did get a Dalmatian family. And then lastly these two pieces brass and something that's like a lacquer I don't know what that is but they match decent size and the the imagery or well the design on there is really cool so I liked those and I think that was it I did end up finding these as well actually that is uh, a hang on the wall Halloween situation. So they're not to like decorate my house, but I think when I go Halloween in my booth, they will go in there. But yeah, this is my weekend haul. Hey everyone, Dana here. I am out and about on a Sunday today. 
I am here at the Gateway Auction Gallery in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and they are doing an open house today so that you can come in and take a peek at some of the items that they're going to have up for bid tomorrow. It is a live auction. It's also an online auction. So I figured I'd come take a peek and see if there's anything like I have to have because it's close to home so I could be here in person or if I want to sit at home on my couch, I can do that too. So let's go see what there is to see. Well, it looks like I only got an hour left. Let's hurry. All right, I'm gonna hit up some of these cases right away. She's really pretty. I see a lot of neat things already. Lots of uh, colorful marbles, and some pocket knives. That one's really weird looking. Kind of looks like a shoe. Some advertising tins. Looks like there's some jewelry, lots of shiny things in there. And a box full to the brim of random. That glass vase is gorgeous. So is that one. And bookends, some marble bookends. And they look like Madame Alexander dolls. Those are kind of neat. I really like the nun in the back. She's got little glasses on. That's funny. Pretty things. Interesting. The flamingos. A tray and some little trays. Got the Pyrex. Lots of marbles. It's kind of neat. They'll probably sell for a ton of money. Marbles always go for a lot of money these days. More marbles. Oh my goodness. Those blue vases are pretty. More marbles. That's really pretty aqua color. Oh, I love the Valentines. That's so cool. That's a neat little set here. I like those porcelain pieces. Those in the back are neat. That green trinket dish, I think it's missing a lid, but it's still really neat. It has like a risque kind of imagery on it. Pretty. Those green decanters are amazing. I bet that glows. Maybe I can find some glowy stuff. Some Wedgwood. Glass pumpkins. Toys. I'm not going to go hardcore into the toys. Some uh, interesting items here. Nothing that really speaks to me. I'm not, I'm not the toy person. So I'm not going to go hog wild onto that but I do uh I do love glass those mason jars are cool I like that purple one up there old photos there looks like there's a tin type in there the paperweights they're neat they're really popular right now everybody's into paperweights wow those are enormous and I'm going to skip around here to some of the furniture items. Pretty things. Ooh, what do I see? Up here on the wall. Those cats are amazing. They have emerald green eyes. So I'm going to skip through the back here. It looks like they have some drum sets and sound equipment and things of that sort. And back here in this area are box lots. So it's just a bunch of stuff thrown in box flats. Hmm. She's neat. And how this works is you just basically stand around your table and they'll do a bid, you know, 
can I get a $10, $10, $20, $30? And basically the high bid gets to pick which box they want off the table. Now, you run the risk of losing the box you want if you don't bid aggressively. Especially if it's a sought after item that you're kind of looking at in a box. So you never know when you need to like jump. So I try to have like a spending limit. And then I only will go that far. And if I miss it, I miss it. But you can get some good deals because at the end they work their way down to where they have boxes left on the table and they're like at five dollars does anybody want this stuff for five dollars I try to not pick up stuff that is filled with random things that I'm not going to use he's cute I do find that in these box slots you end up getting a lot of what might be junk they put like a really cool item in and then a bunch of random other stuff that you probably don't want. You know, that's not always true though. Sometimes the whole box is amazing. But just remember, if you like it, there's somebody else standing around that table that likes it too. So, I don't know. She's kind of pretty. It's kind of exciting though, I will say. You gotta gotta like know when to jump and know when to hold back oh that poor guy he's missing an eyeball he needs an eye patch <laughs> well it looks like a lot of this stuff is not really for me <laughs> got the playboys but um a lot of random random it's really random and it looks like somebody was probably a watchmaker, clock repair, something. Because I see a lot of clock and watch parts. That looks like you might glow, huh? I don't have my UV light on me today. I don't know where I put that. It is MIA. Glass. I think... I think glass is what's going to get me. I just have a thing right now. I'm, I've been looking for glass. I see these marigold glass vases. There's some clear. That blue brandy snifter. That's an interesting box. There's some green depression glass. You probably glow. And oh, this one. This one gets me. I would almost bet that there is something that glows in this lot. Hmm, that is a want. Here's all these parts, more parts. Interesting. I am not really seeing anything along the wall here that grabs me too much. That is interesting. A decanter. Hmm, with the little shot glasses. So we have a reindeer pulling wildcat juice. Hmm, interesting. So I think probably the day of the auction, I'll try to get a box of glass I'd love to get a box of these skeleton keys, but they always go for mad money. And I see that there's some like pre-bids on these items. So you can do an absentee bid um, where you say like X is my limit on this box and they will go up to that limit for you. So you don't have to be here for the box lots, but it's nice. Oh, there's some uh, paper mache eggs. Hmm. So I think what I'll do, I'll come in the morning 
and do the box lot stuff and then we'll go from there. <laughs> 